Hello and welcome to Alvatech's YouTube channel. Today we will show you how to perform fast, precise and non-destructive analysis of cement using our high-performance laboratory XRF analyzer, Elvax Pro. Elvax Pro is designed for advanced elemental analysis of solid, powder and liquid swarms of samples. With a powerful 60 kV X-ray tube and ultra-large 40 mm square SDD detector and helium purge capability, it delivers extremely low detection limits, even for light elements like sodium, magnesium and so forth. It also features a 16-position automatic sample changer and automatic sample rotation, making it ideal for routine high-throughput analysis in cement plants or QC labs. Let's see how Alvax Pro helps you monitor cement composition with unmatched accuracy and efficiency. So, let's head up to our experiment. And first of all, what we need to mark and even underline, the cement, uh, all the cement analysis are available only if you have your device with a helium purge option, because all the light materials here will be needed to analyze in with helium. So, if you have this in your device, and also maybe the supporting options would be perfect for this application, is the uh, 16 position auto sample changer and also we have auto spinner for powder samples. Today we will measure our samples in powder form. As you see, we marked them and put it on a sample cups. Each one goes with a special markings. And we made them ready, so let's just position them to our auto changer. Let's mark it position 4, position 5, and also position 6. All right. As we work with the multiple samples, this feature is gonna be very useful here. All right. After we done, just close the cup, and all additional settings we will have on our laptop. You need to have our special software, Elvax, which we actually supply with all set, with every set. It will be included to your shipment. And here, as soon as you started, as, uh, you set it up and started, we have the following um, additions, actually settings, that you need to mark up. So let's start just one by one. First of all, we have to go to this section, which actually called the product parameters here put it and here we have to make some settings just to improve our analysis right so first of all as we're gonna measure it here we go to the section x-ray control and here we need to mark the dual task mark it here because we need to have all the all passes for heavy and for light elements as soon as we done it it provides us more options here and gives us about the uh, current information and the information of your tube so that's all right next step we go to very next position here that call spectrometer equations and here we mark the lifetime value for 10 seconds because it will be totally all right for us to measure it on a heavy group of elements and here we right under it we have the special mark light task will be take and appropriate uh, percent of heavy task. So we usually mark it to 200%, basically meaning that a light task will take us 20 seconds. And overall, that's gonna be 30 seconds for analysis. All right, we mark it here. And next, we go to advanced processing. And here, as we measure in cement, and we need to get the results in oxide form. So we gonna mark the sections. Here you can find oxide math. And then we need just to involve accessories, uh, undetectable elements in calculations. We mark it yes, just click it twice on this field. All right. And then the display concentrations for formulas, not for elements, like separated. So that's also we need. And we just click twice on this section. 
All right. After we done this settings, we just need to save them. And now we can measure our uh, samples. So you need to press start button, which actually locates on your right top position. And as soon as you press start, uh, having the automatic uh, changing system, it allows you and actually proposes you to select the positions where you will need to take an analysis. So we need, we put the four fifths and sixth position. We can measure all of them, but let's concentrate on position five, for example, because we just need the one, all right? In case you will select three or four, automatic uh, changing system will do it automatically at this name. So just mark it once and then we can press start. All right, we got with the first pass and now we're starting with the second pass, which will take us not more than 20 seconds. And we good with our results. So, uh, first of all, I have one additional um, not ice here because in case if you have both positions uh, selected here for, I mean, the auto changer and sample spinner, which really cool for powder samples, you can just mark both of them here, right under the button start and clear. So if you will mark it up and uh, you will mark the sections for fourth and fifth and sixth position, it will go automatically. And also having the markup for a spinner will allow you to spin each of your samples while it's measuring. All right, we're done with this. And now we have the spectrum here on our display. And all we need to do to have the oxide form is just go here on a top left corner where you can find binoculars, the icon is binoculars, and it says estimate composition by automatic element search. All right. As we marked for oxide mass, we will have our form in oxides. So pressing this button. Yeah, and it's open up a little screen of the all oxides and their concentration that we have from our first samples. So let's just take a precise look here. We have the magnesium O is uh, 291. Then we have aluminum 2, oxygen 3, we have for 7.31. Uh, then we have silicium oxygen 2 for 22.29, almost here we have 22 and 3. And then some other elements that you can see in the form, in the oxide form, and also their concentrations in each sample. All right, here we good with that. And if you need to save each report and to mark it, you can just press button save, which uh, locates on a bottom left corner of the popped up window. That's how you can save the report and transfer it to another like flash drive or any other source that you want. All right, that was about oxides. But if you need to have the just elements that present in the sample, it's gonna be very easy. Again, we go into this section that you can find the product parameters, just click it. And here on the advanced processing, again, where we have the section of oxide math, you need just to unmark those two fields that we just marked previously in the same way you just click twice on this position and then press OK. And then without any measurement, again, like repeated measurement, no, we just go into the binoculars section here where we have the estimate uh, picture of our elements presented in this, in this sample and also the concentrations in each of them. And also you can have, you can save this report and in such cases you will have two reports of the same sample, but one gonna be in oxide form, another just the elemental composition. As we have seen, Elvox Pro offers everything a modern cement lab needs. Speed, 
precision and reliability in one robust system. Whether you are checking clinker composition, verifying raw materials, or monitoring product quality, Elvox Pro delivers accurate results in just a second, without sample destruction or time-consuming preparation. It supports international standards such as ISO 2958-1-2 and ASTM C114, making it fully compliant for cement quality control and certification. With automated sample handling, large detection area, helium purge, and powerful software, Elvox Pro helps you lab operate faster and more efficiently every single day. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about cement analysis or request a demo for Elvox Pro, reach out to us via contact information below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful intro for XRF technology. Stay tuned and see you soon!